Hello, pitsters all over the world. Again, welcome back to my channel. It's Pit TV, in which you are actually learning about health, wealth, relationships, happy life, and more. And as I have mentioned again and again, that actually my purpose in life, my mission in life is that I want to influence people to be better, to be good, to be a better citizen, and of course, to be a role model for their family. And tonight, oh no, sorry, and this afternoon, it's 2 o'clock, right? I'll be discussing to you about the eight qualities of a good leader. You know why? Guys, my fellow Pitsters, my followers, the world doesn't need a good manager or a good supervisor, but the world needs a very good leader, someone who can actually, you know, push the people to be better. You know, it's a game changer. It's actually giving direction or giving the right way how to be better for your family, for your friends, for your community, and of course, for yourself. So this afternoon, that would be our topic. But before we will start that, uh, let me plug or let me greet the following people in my life that actually those people giving me the hope to be better and of course to influence other people as well. So uh, before that, again, I have to plug my Facebook. It's Pete Clyde Kagalawan. If you want to know more about health, wealth, about cancer, relationships, happy life, investing, money, financial management, and more. Then my Instagram, it's Pete Clyde the Lion King because I do believe that I am I am a lion. I mean, in a sense that I'm a leader. I influence people. I give them hope how to be better and how to have these healthy relationships and a financially uh, stable life because I'm giving you, I'm teaching you how to be wealthy or how to acquire wealth. Anyway, uh, of course, my YouTube channel, it's Speed TV. Help me to share this video to your family, to your friends, so that more and more people will be aware about this and more people will be, uh, you know, learn something from day to day, okay? Anyways, hello, Peter. So these people are actually, uh, has, I mean, have given me inspiration. First, uh, thank you so much to my virtual friend, no other than Miss Chris Aquino, okay? We're actually communicating as well uh, uh, via Instagram. And of course, a uh, shout out to Secretary Alan Peter Caetano of the uh, Department of Foreign Affairs. We're also friends. Uh, Sir Don Tevez of SMDC and of course, his beautiful wife, no other than Miss Janet. And then Francis of AIA. If you want, you know, insurance or investments, uh, you can contact Mr. Francis. And, of course, Elena as well. She is also in AIA. Then, Daryl of Prudential, Singapore. And, of course, my beloved, my beautiful, my smart, my greatest mentor, uh, my lady boss in SMDC, no other than Miss Florida Valiespin. And, of course, this one, a very good shout out to my super active, my smart, my intelligent, and my discarte sellers, my SA, namely the following engineers, Jeanette Tijano, engineer Marilyn Casania, of course, uh, Miss Annabelle, the power couple like engineer Ellie and uh, his wife, uh, Miss Fe, Princess and James of Singapore, and of course, the power couple, another power couple, uh, Miss Anne and Rainier of Singapore as well. And my active and young 
uh, seller or sales associate in Taiwan. And hello, hi, hello, madam, to Miss Helly V, Miss Helly V of SMDC as well. She's also uh, an associate sales director. Thank you very much, ma'am, for watching. And please do share this video. I am pretty sure your uh, colleagues or your friends or your family will be will be uh, you know will be learning something about this video again thank you mr francis helbo of aia singapore if you want to uh you know buy their one of their products or services like insurance and investments please do not hesitate to contact mr francis of aia and he is one of the top sellers in his district okay one more thing uh, i have an sa and it's actually a mother and daughter sellers here in singapore and her mom madame destiny guys please say a little prayer please ask god kasi last few days ago nagkaroon siya ng stroke so ngayon po nasa hospital siya so i'm asking your pure heart to please pray for her fast or speedy recovery her name is miss destiny uh nakpil uh general Mommy Destiny, please do help to pray to God. Okay, so now let's jump into our topic. Okay, the eight qualities of a good leader. As I have mentioned earlier that the world doesn't need a good manager or a successful manager. The world nowadays needs a very good leader someone that who is a game changer that has a vision or a mission to change the world for the better for the welfare of the people of the environment of the relationships of the life itself so num okay we have to define first what is a leader leader is some someone like you know how to lead people and the leader is also a good follower. If you don't follow your followers, if they have suggestions, then I would say you are not that effective. Okay, everybody, okay, defines leadership differently. But you know what? I have this, I love this definition of leadership. According to uh, John Maxwell, he is a very good author, a uh, world's best seller author. And he defines leadership as this, okay? A leader is one who knows the way, goes, goes the way, and shows the way, okay? So a leader actually is someone who has that particular vision what to do, what to say, what to direct, and then he has a bunch of followers. I will give you the best example. Maybe uh, Lee Kuan Yew of Singapore or Lee Shin Lung of Singapore. Then we have Mahatma Gandhi and Mother Teresa. They are actually uh, examples or best examples of a good leader. So number one, quality. The first quality of a good leader is positivity you must be very positive even though all the problems the stress the adversity in life the storm everything like that you have to be positive why because when you are positive you are actually helping your brain cells your neurons your immune system to boost it to work it well and if you are negative it will actually shut down and you know what stress is one of the causes major causes of cancer because if you are stressed if you are negative your immune system will shut down and all the pathogens and all the viruses and bacteria and problems will actually enter your body and it will create a lot of problem internally or the homeostasis inside your body so again 
Number one quality of a good leader is optimistic, positive thinker, positivity. Number two, a good leader has this good communication skills. He or she can able to express what he or she is in her on his mind. Like you can get through it. You can express yourself. Third, you have this high confidence and self-esteem. Believe on yourself. Believe on what you are doing and believe on what you are saying. For example, like me, like, uh, guys, uh, you know, we have the eight qualities of a good leader. Do you think, do you believe me if I do that? If I don't have the confidence, if I am not positive about myself, if I don't have strong communication skills, do you think you can believe that? Okay, a good leader must have a strong communication skills, whether it's verbal or non-verbal communication. Third, honesty and integrity. It's super important. Why? Because people do follow you or what you do or what you say. But if you don't keep your promises, then you're, you're good as nothing. Fourth, a uh, quality of a good leader is that you have to, uh, I mean, fifth is you have to inspire others, okay? You must be a role model, be an influencer. Influence them to be better, to be good, to be the best as they can be, okay? Six is actually accountability. If you're a good leader, you don't have to blame others for your action, Appreciate the good deeds and make realize their faults or mistakes. So if they're good, you have to appreciate them. And if they do like some mistakes, of course, you have to correct them. So accountability, it's also very vital. Seven, uh, quality of a good leader is that delegation and empowerment. You cannot do everything. Do not be a one-man military. Of course, if you're alone, you cannot do that much. You cannot do anything that much. You have to delegate. You have to empower them. You have to leverage. For example, in sales, right, you have to do the leveraging. Uh, best example is Henry C. Why is that he is actually earning up to 10 million pesos a day? Why? Because he has more than 10,000 employees. And that's the best example for delegation. Best example for empowerment or leveraging. You cannot do everything. I mean empowering your followers. Empower, empowering your family members. Empowering your community. Your society. Okay? Delegating the tasks to them. Okay? And last but not the least is empathy. Okay, any idea what is empathy? Okay, empathy means it's actually an ability, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others or another person. It means that you have to put your uh, own feet to a person, you know. You have to empathize them you have to understand and share the feelings of one another okay guys to become a leader you must have all these qualities but if you lack some of these qualities then you might struggle okay and then to make the mark in a world of leadership you have to have you must be a good example for others for you to follow. Again, before I summarize all the eight qualities of a good leader, I have to plug my business. Of course, it's behind me. It's SMDC. I am into SMDC. Okay. I am into real estate. And if you wanted to be really like me, like, I earned already like millions, then you can do sell or invest. As I have mentioning it for the nth time over and over and over again, that last time, 
I invested a condo worth three million dollars, million pesos rather, and now that particular unit is already worth like seven to eight million pesos. And I have properties, I have condo units in Manila, Mall of Asia, and in Makati, and soon in Davao. Okay, I have to summarize this. I have to summarize the eight qualities of a good leader is that be a positive thinker. You must have a good and strong communication skills, high confidence and self-esteem. That's number four. Fifth, you have to inspire others. You have to influence them. Six, accountability. Don't blame others. Okay? Seven, you have to delegate, empower, you have to leverage. And eight, you must know how to empathize or call empathy. Again, this is Pete, your digital influencer, your mentor, your life coach, and of course, your friend. Saying that you have to be blessed to bless others. Be great and great. Think and grow rich. Grow and give. And lastly, the secret of living is actually giving. Guys, uh, thank you for watching my cousin in Hong Kong, Miss Ayade. Thank you so much. And of course, my co-broker in SMDC, Miss Jenny Ong. Thank you, guys. If you know that you are learning something from today's episode, please do help me uh, click the like or love button. You can actually share this to your friends. And of course, you have to subscribe and follow my YouTube channel. It's Pete. TV. Again, thank you very much and God bless everyone. Bye-bye. Mwa mwa. Thank you, Pitsters. This is live, so I have some like mistakes. It's okay. That's acceptable, I think. Bye-bye.